Every one of you has heard of the periodic table of elements, or at least seen it. This table classifies all the atoms in the universe into 118 different types known as elements. 24 of these elements are synthetic or man-made, meaning they are created by man in the laboratory. The synthetic elements are those with atomic numbers 95 to 118 as shown inside the yellow box. The mechanism for the creation of synthetic elements is to force additional protons onto the nucleus of an element with an atomic number lower than 95. Remember that atom is the smallest particle of an element. And it consists of the three subatomic particles. We have proton that is inside the nucleus and also neutron and surrounding it are the electrons. Remember that proton resides inside the nucleus and the one that revolves around the nucleus are the electrons. Proton has a positive charge while neutron has no charge and electron has a negative charge. In 2016, four new elements were added to the periodic table. That means the seventh period of the periodic table is complete. Now, those of four elements are numbered 113, 115, 117, and 118. The research groups that discovered them were from Japan, Russia, and the United States. Thus, their name. Three of these elements were named after the places where they were discovered. Their names are Nihonium, Muscovium, and Tennessee. The fourth element is named Oganeson, and it was named after a Russian nuclear physicist named Yuri Oganeshan. All four of the newest elements are highly unstable, super heavy elements. Heavy elements are those that have an atomic number larger than 92. Super heavy elements usually have atomic numbers larger than 112 and they are also more radioactive and unstable than other elements. Super heavy elements do not occur in nature. The two elements were created in laboratories. Scientists use machine called particle accelerators to make ions of one element crash into the ions of another element. Ions are actually charged atoms having a positive or a negative charge. When the nuclei of two elements join together, they create a new element. But these artificially created elements only exist for a fraction of a second before they decay into other elements. Hunyum was created by crushing together bismuth 83 with zinc 30. Muscovium was created when bombarding 243 of americium with 48 calcium. It actually provided one atom of 287 muscovium, three atoms of 288 muscovium, and a 289 muscovium. The most stable one is the 289 muscovium, and when 289 muscovium goes through alpha decay process, can actually produce nihonium. Russian scientist uses 20 calcium and smash it with 95 americium producing 115 muscovium.
tennessin was created when a 97 berkelium was smashed with 20 calcium and lastly organison it was created when 98 of californium smash with 20 calcium those are the four new elements and how they were created by smashing the protons of two lighter elements super heavy elements do not occur in nature and they were created in the laboratory but these heavy elements or artificial elements only exist for a fraction of seconds before they decay into other elements. The large number of protons in the nucleus actually repel each other, making the atom highly unstable. And thus, these elements or atoms decay faster and they release particles and energy.